Well, hello there. Welcome to Sticky Boundaries Situations and What to Say. This is video five in a series. My name is Terry Cole. I'm a licensed psychotherapist, a relationship expert, and the author of Boundary Boss, The Essential Guide to Talk True, Be Seen, and Finally Live Free. And in this little video series, I've been hitting your top most sticky boundary scenarios and then giving you scripts of what it is that you can say to get out of those situations, to actually draw a boundary in those situations. So this is video five, and we're just gonna master the art of saying no, but how can you say no without over explaining? Because this is something that so many of you have told me that you feel like if you say no, you have to like fully justify why you're saying no. And it's so annoying and it's exhausting. And here's the thing, you don't have to. And it actually undermines the power of your no when you do it. But for many of you, it is compulsive, right? It is, it's automatic. So that's why we need this space, right? That's why in the Boundary Boss book, I teach you the actual steps to become aware of what's going on. You need to understand why you feel like you must compulsively explain or justify setting a limit or saying no with someone. So I have, of course, strategies for you to understand yourself better. So I want you to see the connection. When we understand why we are the way we are with boundaries, when we go back into childhood, when we take those crickety steps down into the basement of your mind, right? The unconscious mind, it makes becoming a boundary boss possible because we are not reacting from our eight-year-old or our five-year-old self. We're able to react from our adult self. So there is a method to my madness of you becoming a boundary boss. So let's move into how you can say no without justifying. So part of it is, it really helps if you can buy time because if you, we wanna create space between giving the answer. So if it's hard to say no right away, even if you know it's a no for you, we buy time. So it's like, let me get back to you on that. I need some time to think about that. How about just saying maybe? I'm not sure. People And if people pressure and go, well, I need to know now. I Oh, if someone says I need to know now, I don't care who they are. And I'm not even mad. I make no instant decisions for anyone. I need to know now. I go, okay, if you need to know now, then it's gotta be a no. Because I don't make instant decisions like that. I need at least 24 hours. And I give myself 24 hours to make important decisions because my feelings may change, right? I wanna think about what I wanna say. You can also say, hey, I need to check with my sister, my spouse, my roommate, whoever. I'm afraid I can't. And you can also just not want to. What if we just don't want to? How about that? I'm not really into that type of music, food, situation, whatever it is, but I hope that you have a wonderful time. Thanks for thinking of me. Why can't our preference, why can't the fact that we just don't friggin' want to do it matter? Because to me, it matters, right? Prioritizing how you feel, what you want, your preferences, that is becoming a boundary boss. And it doesn't mean prioritizing it in the way of being a bully and not giving a crap about anyone else. It literally means you knowing that how you feel, what you think, and what you want matters. And then assuming that the people who are lucky enough to be in your friggin' life, it'll matter to them too. But it can't matter to them if you don't tell them. So saying no, even just saying, I'd rather not. How about that? Uh, thank you for thinking of me, but I'm already committed on that date. Sometimes, actually, and this sounds weird, but pr saying no, practicing saying no in the mirror. Try out these ones that I've given you here. And again, in the book, there's literally an entire chapter that is just boundary scenarios and scripts. An entire chapter. Imagine what's in there. Everything you can ever think of. Every question I think I've ever been asked in the last 25 years is in the book itself. You can go to boundarybossbook.com. Anyway, drop your comments about this video series. Did it help you? What are your thoughts? What are your biggest struggles? Because as always, I'm interested in what you have to say and what you think because you matter to me. And as always, take care of you.